What's going on guys, and today we have episode 6 now of the transfer room. I'm sorry I didn't upload yesterday, I was out and stuff like that, didn't have enough time to upload. I did have a video ready, but I hadn't did like the, like talking over it like I'm doing just now, the commentary over it and stuff. So I will have it out today instead. I've added a few more players into it, because of course there was a few more rumours today and last night. We're going to go into the first one though, and it is Romelu Lukaku. To Arsenal for 75 million um, from Everton. It's been linked. They said if they're not going to get Murata, they will go in for Lukaku. But the Everton owner has slapped a massive £75 million price tag on Lukaku. So I can't see Arsenal um, paying that. He's definitely not worth £75 million. And it's Arsenal. They don't pay a lot anyway for strikers. So um, they're not going to pay £75 million for Lukaku. Let's face it. I'm going to give a rumour rating of 2. It's not going to happen. It's not impossible but it's not going to happen at the same time and a transfer rating of 6 because I think it'd be an okay signing but nothing too special because he isn't he isn't anything special in my opinion we then go into Nani this is a confirmed transfer he has moved from Fenerbahce to Valencia for 8.5 million a rumour rating of course of 10 because it has been confirmed and a transfer rating of 9 I think it's a very very good signing for Valencia he's been very very good in the Euros so far um, of course Wales v Portugal is tonight so I'm buzzing for that but in general, he's just been a very, very good player um, for Fenerbahce over the last couple of years as well. Did very, very well in that league and just done well for Portugal in general. It'll be interesting to see how he does do in the league of BBA. I believe it's his first time there, but I might have that wrong. Did he used to play for Valencia? I don't know. Um, but he, of course, he did used to play for Manchester United. Was one of the best wingers in the world. And hopefully he can regain some of that form at Valencia and see um, if he can maybe challenge uh, a few of the players in the team. We then have Higuain to Chelsea. This is a huge one. I mean, Napoli, letting him go would be would be weird. Um, of course, he did play for Real Madrid a few years ago. He was good. He just moved to Napoli, and this season has just became incredible. Had an incredible season. And now he's worth €78 million Euros or pounds. I'm not too sure which one. Um, and Chelsea are looking interested in him for that much. That is a lot of money for a striker. Um, but... It could happen, it's Chelsea at, at the end of the day. Rumour rating I'm going to give it is a 4. I believe this will only happen if Diego Costa leaves. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if he lives or not. And a transfer rating of 9 as well. I think it'd be a great signing for them. Um, and I think he'd do very, very well in the BPL. But I just can't see it happening. But if it does, it'll be a very, very good signing. With the England to Diego Alves, of course, Everton do need a new goalkeeper. They've let go of Tim Howard. Uh, I was let go by... I was um, Somebody let me know in the last episode, Steckenberg will not be Everton's main goalkeeper, so they need a new one. And Diego Alves has been linked today. There also has been another keeper that has been linked, which I'll put in tomorrow's episode, guys, so make sure to look out for that. Um, but, of course, there hasn't been a price thrown about yet. The rumour rating is only five because it's in the early stages. It's just been a rumour so far. No, no confirmed things. It just says that Ronald Koeman, of course, the Everton manager, is interested in him. So it'll be interesting to see what he does on that behalf. Transfer rating of nine as well. I think it'd be a very, very good signing. He's been incredible in the Liga BBVA over the last couple of years. And I think he would continue that form going into the BPL and things like that. So it'll be good to see him in the BPL if he does, in fact, join. We then go into another one that has kind of interested me a bit. Sherla, um, to, Wolfsburg, uh, to Dortmund, sorry, from Wolfsburg, 35 million euros is the price, which is roughly about 27, 28 million pounds, I would say. Um, so it was, it was an interesting deal. Uh, I don't know why they need a new left winger unless they're going to play him striker or something. They think of maybe a, if Aubameyang leaves. Of course, they've got Royce. He is a bit injury prone. They could be thinking that. But Charlotte, Charlotte would want first team football, and if Royce is playing, he will not get it all the time. So it'll be interesting to see what they do um, in regard to Char uh, in regard to Royce and Charlotte if they join in the same team. We've then got the rumour rating of eight guys. I've only gave it that because it isn't confirmed yet, <coughs> but I can see it happening. Rumours like this don't um, normally come about if they don't happen. A transfer rating of eight as well. I think he's a very very good player. We then go on to really. This one I want to happen. I want really to come to my club, Manchester City. Um, from Real Sociedad as well. I believe he went back on loan. Uh, he went. Um, I think he was on loan at Real Sociedad. I've got a weird feeling about that because when I looked up what club he was at, it was some Argentinian club or Uruguayan club or something like that. Um, but seven point five million is very very cheap for a twenty. Three-year-old keeper, I want to say. Uh, he, he was very, very good in the league last year. He would have roughly an 81-rated card as well, so it shows he has a decent keeper. For 7.5 million, that's an absolute bargain. I'm going to give it a rumour rating of 7. Uh, I think it's it's looking likely, but it could go either way still. Uh, and a transfer rating of 8 as well. I think it would be a good signing for Manchester City if Joe Hart um, gets injured and stuff like that. We then have Lloris, who has been linked to Real Madrid. It looks like the hair deal is just, just fading off. Um, of course, that has looked like it's going to happen for ages. It looks now 
less likely. It looks as if it could be Lloris joining um, the Real Galact uh, Galacticos in, Re in Madrid even. Um, 35 million is quite hefty, but for Real Madrid, they only pay the best for their players. We've got a rumour rating of 6. I want to say it's going to happen. I'd like to see it happen, but I don't know what it is about it. It just seems like Lloris just wouldn't fit in a Real Madrid kit, in my opinion. But at the end of the day, it comes up to him whether or not he wants to leave and stuff like that. Whether or not he wants to leave Tottenham um, will be interesting to see. Also, a transfer rating of 9 as well, as I do believe it will be a good signing for both of them. Joe Allen to Swansea. Um, <laughs> this one kind of came out of nowhere as well. It's as if he was kind of regaining form at Liverpool. Klopp was making him a first-team player. He was doing very, very well. And then all of a sudden, Swansea come in with an €8 million Euro bid, or an £8 million pound bid, sorry. Um, and Liverpool came back to that and said they want £14 million for um, the Welshman. And it'll be interesting to see if Swansea do actually cough up that amount of money for a player of Joe Allen's um, stature and quality. I don't know if they will want to pay that much for him. It'll be interesting to see over the next coming days if they do so or not. If it's confirmed, I'll definitely add it into another video. We've got a rumour rating of 8. I think it's could happen, I think it's likely to happen, and a transfer rating of 8, because I think it would be a good signing for Swansea as a very, very good midfielder. We then go to Glick, who has signed for Monaco from Torino for €8 million. Euros. Of course, the rumour rating is going to be 10, as it has been confirmed, and also a transfer rating of 8. I think this is a very, very good signing. He did very, very well in the Euros. He's doing well for Torino in the league as well, of what I've seen of him, um, and he has a good centre-backs in general. He's not the fastest of centre-backs, but he is a very, very good uh, kind of strong defensive centre back, which is what you need in your team. Um, so we could see what how he does at Monaco. Maybe this could be the year Monaco actually challenge PSG to the title. But the signings PSG are seeming to bring in at the moment, it doesn't look like they're going to be anywhere near um, them because PSG are just too strong at the moment, and they need to bring in a lot more signings if they want to challenge them. So it'll be interesting to see how he does next season. We then have one of the biggest ones, or kind of one of the biggest shocks, I would say. Um, it's Hamas Rodriguez to PSG. You might have seen a few episodes ago, I linked this guy to Man City. There was links of him going to Man City. I said it's not going to happen. Now it looks as if this could happen, him going to PSG. 60 million euros or 60 million pounds, don't know which one. I'm guessing it's euros because it is in um, Europe. So it is quite a lot of money, but it is Hamas Rodriguez. He was bought for like 59 million, something like that. And now they're going to sell him for 60 million, so 1 million profit or something like that. But He's not been that good over the last few seasons. I've not been really been impressed with him for Real Madrid. He's been okay for Colombia, of what I've seen, but Real Madrid, he's not been too great. A rumour rating of 7, as it is in um, advanced talks, apparently, and a transfer rating of 9, because, of course, he'll be a good player at any team. We then have Pella, the last one of today's episode. He has been linked heavily, and I mean very heavily, um, with Chelsea. £12 million pounds is the, the price Conte apparently wants him. Of course, he, is in Conte's, he was in Conte's Italian team for the Euros there. But I'm only going to give a room rating of 7. Um, as yet again, it does depend on whether Diego Costa leaves, in my opinion. They're not going to have Bashoui, Pele, and Diego Costa, and Higuain, and every other striker in the world that Chelsea have been linked with at the moment, Murata as well, um, if Diego Costa doesn't leave. So it'll be interesting to see how that kind of escalates and stuff like that. But I'm going to give it a rumour rating of 7 as it is in the early stage. And, it, and of course, it does depend on whether or not Diego Costa does leave. And a transfer rating of 7 as well. I think it'd be an OK signing for them. I don't think he's a world, world class striker. Um, but he is a decent striker. He's done well in the BPL for the last few seasons. And if Conte sees something in him, Conte will probably get the best out of him. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video. Um, it has been about 9 minutes long as well. So hopefully you don't mind that it is quite long, these videos. Make sure to smash the like button if you have enjoyed it. 20 likes would be absolutely insane guys we smashed the likes in the last video 22 likes i want to thank you guys so much for that subscribe guys as well if you're new to the channel check out my shout out series the giveaway series will start next monday and apart from that i'll see you guys next time